This is a movement about the 99% of Americans who wish to realize the American dream. The one cause is to stop corporate America from destroying this country. We're a pro-America movement. Everyone, all types of cultures, multi-faith, multi-ethnic, multicultural. Right now, we are furious. We are overtired, and we want action now. The idea is we want to change politics. We want to change the system. The corporations want us to arrest the poor man stealing a loaf of bread in the city, whereas almost all crime is caused by white-collar crime. All the policies reflect their needs and not the needs or the protections of the mass of the people. It's them taking away jobs and exploiting the poor, giving them minimum wage, horrible working conditions. We have either the choice of Barack Obama who's bought, or a bunch of fucking lunatics who are bought and like want to go to war in Iran, and should really be cartoon villains in Disney. That's not a choice. The 1% doesn't care what they do to become richer. Even if it's making people homeless, making people go hungry, as long as it's maximizing their profits, they're for it. And anybody who's for that is soulless. And anybody who's soulless should not have a position of power. Well, I'm doing it for my kids. I'm doing it for America's kids. Because if we don't bring the corporations, the rich, Wall Street, and the banks back to reality, there's going to be nothing left for the next generation. Certainly the corporations have already screwed the American dream up. But that 1% rules the world. That 1% sits on gold toilet seats while others are starving. That's not right. You're one of the uh, media relations for uh, Occupy Wall Street, correct? Yes, sir. Somewhere in the vicinity of 500 to even possibly 1,000 police officers, about three blocks in every direction, pretty much closed off. And basically, they came in and threw, every threw away everyone's private personal property. That just like money is an extension of freedom of speech, perhaps a tent is an extension of freedom to assemble. Then on Occupy Wall Street with wife and daughter, we were um, unconstitutionally uh, foreclosed on in the North Pole. Have you ever had to do what these officers had to do today? Absolutely, yes I have. And how did it make you feel? It made me empathize with those people. Not everybody was here for the protest. Some people were here for a party. It's not a party. And what would you have done different? Well, what I heard is a whole lot of force in trying to remove them. And I don't know if all that force was entirely necessary in the beginning. Behaviors were accepted that shouldn't be. All the people should be accepted, but not all behaviors. Be gentle, be patient, and there's no reason to use force because time is on their side. So you just wait and you try to convince them to move. Do you think these officers are good cops or bad cops? I think they're good cops, although they're being led by uh, corporations and they're doing the wrong thing by uh, suppressing these people's rights to protest. And I'm out here today to try to help and let them know, hey, some of us are on your side. Who is the leader of this movement here at this park today? Everybody has a voice in this movement. Everybody, if you have an idea or a proposal, you're allowed to present your pro proposal to the General Assembly. And the General Assembly is everybody, it's all of us. Now there's certain people that are elevating themselves up into leadership positions within certain working groups, but that's only coming through their strength of character and how much work they're putting out. That's the success of the movement, that we're not going to have one person. So we're going to have nobody here trying to take a uh, position of leadership and gather all the, uh, the glory. The people who didn't run, the people who stayed, the people who are still talking, the people who don't quit. They're the leader. The beauty of this is there's not one person who's going to let us down. But there's never going to be one person that represents us. There's never going to be one person. There may be a group that has received support from these people that they're going to transfer the uh, consensus to the higher ups. But there's never going to be one leader of this. Let me just say this much. First of all, the kids are the kids. They will prevail.